edition of As I Roved Out. During the coming weeks, we'll be roving out in your company, we hope, to various areas in the province. Tonight, we visit the Loch Shore to meet the singers and the music makers of that area, an area with places rich in traditional music like Arbo and Derry Lahan, and places further west like Pomroy and Dunnock Moor. But above all, we've come to enjoy and to celebrate an ageless tradition, a tradition that was originally founded in the Irish language, but has been enhanced and nourished by our Ulster English. So let's begin with Jimmy Cummock from Dunnock Moor, John Wilson, a student at Lockery College in Cookstown, and all 13 years of Cal Hayden from Pomeroy. They give us the Longford Collector and the Sailor's Bonnet. Now a visit to the Antrim shore of Loch Ney. Between Achagallan and Achalee lies Ballanderry, the townland of the oak trees. And just offshore is Rams Island, a very familiar landmark indeed to the eel fishermen. All these places are captured now in this haunting melody sung by Gemma Hassan. Tis pretty to be in Ballanderry.
It's pretty to be in battle in Derry. It's pretty to be in Napoli. It's prettier to be in Bonnie Rum's island sitting under an ivy tree. Oh, that I was in little that I was with Philemy Diamond. He would whistle and I would sing and we would make the whole island dream. I'm going, he said, from Ballinderry out across the deep and if in your heart you love me, Mary, open your arms and come to me. Twas pretty to be in Ballinderry, but now it's sad as sad can be for the ship that sailed. With fill me diamond sunk forever beneath the sea. Oh, 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 in Ballanderry. Surely the oldest love lament of all is that impossible dream of poor loving rich. All great literature, every age, has recorded this timeless battle of love versus riches, and ours is no exception. The particular beauty of, of our poet has eyes like diamonds and cheeks blooming like blood drops and snow. And of course, there are those inevitable cruel parents, frowning on this marriage of the wealth of imagination to perhaps the wealth of the land. But the ending is happy, where the river ban flows into, where else, of course, but Loch Ness. Here's Tony McCauley, accompanied by Patrick Finney. When first to this country, a stranger I came, I placed my affection on a maid that was young she being young and tender and her waist firm and slender kind fortune had framed her for my overthrow on the banks of the van where first I beheld her she appeared there like Juno, the fair Grecian queen, and her eyes shone like diamonds or stars brightly shining. Her cheeks were like roses or blood on the snow. It was her cruel father who first caused our burying because she was rich and above my degree but I'll do my endeavor to gain my love's favor although she has come from a rich family And I, all the money that lies in the Indies, 